guys. It is what time is it? 7 13 a.m. It was hard to get up this morning if I'm being honest, but I'm I try to keep it 100 with you guys and I think that's part of it. Some days we're just so tired and sleepy and we want to stay in bed and be cozy, but I don't know. How do you get out of bed in those days? I think it's just habit maybe at this point or I don't want to call it discipline because I don't know if, I don't know if it's that, but maybe it's as simple as I'd rather be late than disappointed in myself. Maybe. Anyways, let's go to the gym and do some upper body. Okay, everybody, welcome back to a week of workouts. We're starting with an upper body day. I'm doing some simple bench presses today. I'm just doing um, 185 for reps, which is actually really good. I love the speed I'm going here. Here I'm going for 225, and we're letting it rip for two reps, which I was actually really happy about. I'm kind of back to baseline now. Now we're moving into these like shoulder presses. I forget what they're called, band field presses, but these are fucking so hard for me. I get so fatigued and it is pretty intense. Now we're going into some shoulder presses. No, wait, incline dumbbell press, apologies. And we're hitting it pretty good. Apologies for the little belly action. But again, I'm keeping it 100 with you guys and the belly is just with us. Next, we're doing some hammer curls. Um, I'm like kind of at this weight, 35 for 20 total, 10 on each side. Moving down to these um, tricep pull downs, very straightforward. Okay, now we're doing some Russian twists. This sucks, but like I said last week, it must be done. Let's go. Okay, now lower body, we're into squats now. So I think here I'm doing 225, maybe a little bit more, 230 it looks like. And yeah, I think overall the speed is good. I think I should go down a little bit deeper. I don't think the depth is as good, but I'm liking the speed. I'm liking the tempo. So overall that's good. I like the um, no butt dipping happening. Um, and now you're seeing me go for kind of the main set. Usually this is a the first set is like the heaviest, which I find interesting. But I'm using a tool or an app called uh, Juggernaut. So they kind of do AI workouts. So I'm just kind of following their training program there. Um, when I'm going down to these lower weights, I think it's easier, obviously. Here is the main portion. This is my deadlifts. I'm really having trouble with deadlifts. Um, trying to take it really slow. You'll see saw me kind of pushing my butt back, trying to get in the right form. I think overall it's just a little bit awkward for me, especially in this conventional um, deadlifting versus like a sumo. I find sumo to be much more comfortable than this conventional, but I'm uh, happy because definitely some progress has been made in terms of getting the form right and just getting the hinge right. You can see me here. This is interesting, the right side of my body it, it's like the bar is tilted, so I thought that was interesting. Okay, we're going into leg press now. This was, um, this is interesting to watch back. You can see how my uh, legs are kind of bowing out. I'm not actually sure if that's right or not. I need to ask somebody. Let me know in the comments if you think there's a way to improve my form or my foot placement. But here I think we're at 270, but the actual thing itself weighs like 170 pounds or somewhere in like the 400s, I think is right. Um, and then we're doing another upper body day. Again, we're repping for 185. I'm loving the speed here. I love, uh, it, it doesn't feel too heavy, which is I think is really good, meaningful progress on my side. We're going into some, uh, what are these called? I don't remember, some press, some pulls. <laughs> um, and now we're doing some seated Arnold presses. My friend told me to do them seated and they definitely feel different seated. So, and then I'm gonna continue doing this. Uh, another incline chest press, dumbbells chest press. I went up in weight a little bit, I think. And I like the form here. I think it looks pretty good. Speed is good. Um, and now we're going into skull crushers. Again, my friend told me to try them lying down which is what you're seeing me do here. And I'm still sore from this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this up. This is, this is nice. Thank you, Paul. Shout out to Paul for that. And then we're going down to some lat pull downs. Um, I think there's definitely some room for improvement here form wise, but 
Uh, Tempo-wise and stuff, looks pretty good. And again, we're back to these hammer curls. Um, yeah, this is this is also looking pretty good. Uh, again, I'm kind of stuck at this weight. If I go up anymore, I think it'll be a little bit too hard. Sweet. So this is a question I've been asking myself for probably over a decade, basically whenever I first started watching YouTube. And the question is, what would happen if I made content? I think we've all seen all these TikToks and reels about people talking about how much creating content has changed their lives. Now, I feel like that's kind of dramatic, but at the same time, I somewhat believe it. They talk about it's all about consistency. It's all about you know finding your niche. It's all about this and that. If you're anything like me, that sounds great and all, but it doesn't seem like for me. It seems like it's for everybody else. But for the first time in my life, I've decided to put it to the test. Like, what's the worst that could happen? The absolute worst that can happen by me making these videos is nobody watches them. I spend a lot of time on something that, quote, doesn't matter. But really, there's no negative consequences. There's only unlimited upside. Now, this is funny that I'm sitting on the ground in my office that's empty, recording this video with, you know, 30 subscribers. But that's, that's kind of the beauty of it. I want to see what's on the other side of this. And I'm going in with very little expectations. Sure, I might improve in my video editing skills. Maybe I'll buy a mic and not have to use my iPhone. And maybe I'll meet some cool people, but really I don't have too many expectations. Actually, I take it back. It's 20 fucking 23. I think, I'm pretty sure manifestation is real and I'm gonna freaking see if it works and try it for myself. So 
Here goes nothing. This is what I really want actually to happen by me doing content consistently. The first one is I want to add some new people to my friendly circle. This is like folks that who go beyond friends and become a family for myself. For the last couple of years, I've been in this really weird, like no new friends era. I think that's because I was doing a startup and I was really focused on entrepreneurship and I, I didn't want to get distracted really. That's the first thing I want to happen. I want to add more really awesome, special friends to my life. The second, this is kind of weird, but I'm going to get the opportunity to travel because of my content. Now, this is some weird, you know, fantasy I've had for a long time, but I believe it. I think it can happen. I want to see this email in my inbox. Hey, David, we think you're dope. We like your shit. Can you come talk to us about it? And it might be delusional, but this is manifestation we're talking about, right? Okay, that's number two. And number three, I want to meet some of my YouTube heroes. I mentioned this before, but I've been watching YouTube for probably over a decade now. I remember when like Gen M first came out. I remember when all the Asian like musicians were out. All of these folks that I actually have watched since, um, I, I kind of want to meet a couple of them. Like, like I said, Gen M. Sophia Chang, maybe like a Nick Bear for fitness, Matthew and Cena for like those dope office type videos. The list goes on, but whoever they may be, I want to meet them. I don't know what the fuck we talk about, but I think I'd like to thank them at least for inspiring me through all these years. So now that we've gotten all that woo woo shit out the way, what the fuck is this channel going to be about? Mostly I think it's going to be about health and fitness to start with because that's something that I'd like to challenge myself with. And I, and I kind of see life in this kind of like concentric circle type way, but you always, always got to start with one circle. And I think that first circle for me is going to be health and fitness. I'm going to challenge myself to lose 60 pounds. That's what my first video is about. And from there, I want to see how that consistently consistency spreads to other areas of my life, including like fashion or lifestyle or interiors or design or productivity and entrepreneurship. I think I can talk about a lot of different things, but at the end of the day, it's just whatever I genuinely care about, whatever lights me up, that's what you're going to see. And who knows, maybe I'll turn into a mukbang channel. That's my other like secret fantasy. Welcome. I hope we can do something amazing together. What's next, David? I don't know.